left side, you know, it's, all things are equal, he would just escape me, right? So he's on the ground. And I'm going for, I've already got this leg, I'm in this position. In order for me to switch to the other leg, if he doesn't have me entangled, I have to let him go. He's going to do all kinds of stuff before I can get this, right? And I'm not going to have it. So that's not, that wasn't the point of the drill. The point of the drill is, if I go here, he doesn't have time to stop me. He's targeting this while I'm setting that up. Goes cross that drill. There you go. Now, if we get into a leg fight, he wants to be across the side. Does that make sense? Let go. I wouldn't be here and go, hey, let's try this side, because he's going to immediately just roll away. Once I get from here to about halfway, he's just going to roll away. And I'm going to lose everything. Does that make sense? So it's once you're entangled, that's when you have time to make that transition, unless you set it up. So typically, we're going to do this and this, right? There's nothing saying that I can't go here and go here. Move to the outside. And now I'm already in the cross side. There's nothing saying you can't do that, but our typical single leg goes to the other way. Let's look at it from another angle. Joel's going to have me in the guard position. He's going to stand up the stack. Right? I'm going to hook. Let's do this side. I'm going to hook this foot, hook this knee in, and entangle. Now, I've got knee bar, ankle lock, and I've got calf crush. If I want calf crush, I entangle here, and I put my feet here, and I push them back until I crank him. If I want, I can take him down by pushing here. Entangle, crank him. So we can do it upside down as well. Does that make sense? All right. We've had enough of the basic way. Start from the guard, 